All right, so uh, Sequential has recently updated the firmware for the Profit Rev2 synth. Uh, it's been a while since they uh, last updated it, and they just did an update to version 1.1.5.9.7. That's a bit of a mouthful there, but they addressed uh, several bugs and uh, some other issues that have been sort of lingering for a while. The big ones uh, here are that they fixed the uh, bug with the gated sequencers when using them in stack mode. So now, using the key stepping in stack mode, they correctly progress through every step without uh, skipping any steps. So this fix to the gated sequencer allows uh, two uh, key things, I think, here. Number one is that you can do uh, now layered vintage voice modeling, where you have uh, two layers going and you have separate offsets on both layers for vintage modeling of per voice behavior or for acoustic ensembles. You can create some uh, really huge stereo spread ensembles now uh, with voice variants on a per voice, per oscillator, and per parameter basis. So the other thing that this allows is that now you can use stacked gated sequencers in key step mode and program in some very complex melodic content. And the, uh, the content will progress through every step correctly now, whereas before it was uh, weirdly skipping steps when you turned on the stack mode. So the example at the beginning of this video was an example of that, where I have actually a separate gated sequencer running on each layer, each with different frequency offsets. So these are like octaves up, uh, perfect fourths and perfect fifths. Um, these are all strategically chosen to be highly harmonic content but each of the two layers has different steps like this. In this case, I'm using the arpeggiator in combination. So you can create some just incredibly complex melodic content where the arpeggiator is running and the gated sequencer is moving certain steps up and down an octave or a fifth or a fourth to create sort of a super arpeggio uh, within the Rev2. So I've never been a huge fan of using uh, polyphonic sequencers just because I sort of feel like sometimes when you program in a melodic sequence, then it becomes just sort of a one trick pony where you just hit one key on the key bed and you can move up and down, but it's always gonna play that exact same uh, melodic sequence. You know, that might be fine for some bass type of patches. And I, I do use the poly sequencer for some bass line type stuff, but for more melodic content, I much prefer to use this sort of method where you use a modulation sequencer and set the modulation sequencer to these certain steps, the octaves and fifths and whatever other intervals you want within the mod sequencer. And you can do things like combine it with the arpeggiator in different various modes, up, down, up, down, random, assign mode. And what it allows you to do is you can now play up and down the key bed in any key and you can, uh, you know, modulate between keys and you'll get a lot of interesting melodic content that's constrained to the general pattern that you've programmed in, but you can really play around with it more. And it's not so much of a one trick pony. You get, you know, complex uh, rhythmic sequences and melodic sequences happening based on how you're playing the key bed in real time. So yeah, in this case with this uh, arpeggio gated sequencer pattern, if I just hold down just like an octave like this, There's a lot of interest happening there where it's moving through this pattern and creating all these uh, fifths and fourths and up an octave plus a fifth here or up two octaves here combined with the offsetting different modes of the arpeggiator. One of them is running in up mode, one of them is running in up down mode. So it just creates all these different offsets where the oscillators are all moving up and down to specific intervals, but constrained to the keys that you press on the key bit. So there is one bug uh, that was sort of introduced with this that hopefully this can be fixed. Hopefully this is an easy fix, but there is an issue that uh, the two gated sequencers are technically they're one step out of phase with each other. And uh, to demonstrate this here, I've just got layer A and layer B on and this initialized patch uh, stacked. If I look at the layer A gated sequencer, I just have cut off popping up on step five and the same on layer B, it pops up on step five. But if you listen here, if I just repeatedly hit a note, so 
So you can hear there, it's actually popping up the cutoff on two consecutive steps rather than having them both be synced on the same step. Layer B is always playing uh, one step before layer A. So in order to sync them together, I would have to pull this down on step five and bring it up on step six for layer B here. And now when I play, they'll both be on the same step at the same time. So I have layer A on step five and layer B on step six, and now they'll both be in sync. As you hear that now they're both in sync. Uh, so yeah, it'd be nice if uh, these were just synchronized so that they're both layer A and layer B play the same step at the same time. You can work around it like I'm showing right here and like I did in the example patch that I played earlier. I just offset everything on layer B, but it'd be nice to have these sync synchronized up. So yeah, overall, I'm uh, really excited about this update. This is a great update for the Rev2 and fixes this issue that's sort of persisted for a while now uh, that I've been eager to see fixed. Um, as I mentioned, it makes the uh, voice modeling way better and that you can now stack patches and have stacked vintage voice modeling um, and do this great new melodic sort of sequencing with stacked layers. So I'm really excited to uh, do a bunch more sound design uh, using these, uh, these sort of tricks. And yeah, I want to just applaud Sequential. Thank you for uh, continuing to support the Rev2 this is a great instrument, and this is a great update that continues to fix the uh, persisting bugs and improve upon what the Rev2 can do. So yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. Catch you later.